Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, speak in second reading uh, to Bill 1, the uh, Alberta Competitiveness Act. Let me fish the bill out here. Um, when I spoke in uh, second reading, I, I raised the issue of uh, the, the current concern about the competitiveness of the film sector in Alberta. Um, and, and just to uh, recap very briefly, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, of the issues that I was raising, um, really we have two objectives, or I hope we have two objectives around uh, a film in Alberta. One is support for our Indigenous production, so, um, you know, development and support for development of scripts, of story ideas, hopefully our stories, but not necessarily. Um, and, and with that is uh, things like the support for the producers. Um, uh, you know, they can uh, get access to workshops at the um, Banff Television Festival, for example, and other workshops that are run. Um, plus, uh, keeping film workers, uh, including actors and technicians, artisans, here in Alberta so that they're available to work on these generally lower budget but indigenous um, uh, film stream. Um, and we do have um, a particular um, film strategy here, um, which uh, does allow for majority Alberta-owned productions, uh, which are a minimum 51% Alberta ownership and majority financial and creative control, uh, to be eligible for a 27% um, uh, grant program uh, back on the amount of money that they have spent and that's capped off uh, because the total fund is um, some amount that doesn't come to mind. It got cut this year but uh, it, we just don't have enough money in this fund to be able to uh, give everybody that 27% that for example. And there are um, enhanced eligibilities uh, if for example we uh, the, uh, the production employs Albertans in three or more of the creative positions um, or uh, two more creative positions and uh, plus trainees, they're eligible for up to 29%. Um, so that's, that's what we call stream one. Um, the second um, objective that we have here in Alberta, or at least I hope we have, um, is competitiveness uh, for the, the non-Alberta, uh, non-Indigenous production. So in other words, the ownership uh, of the production uh, is uh, less than 51% uh, Alberta owned. And we've ended up with two streams in that one. One is a, a sort of um, uh, uh, hybrid and the other one is um, definitively um, targeted towards out of province generally big budget Hollywood movies, if I can call it that way, and they take anything away from them. What I am trying to do right now is address the problem we're having with competitiveness uh, with, the, with the, that, that larger stream in, in bringing in the Hollywood productions. Uh, and what they've asked for basically is a, a bump up of the amount of uh, the percentage that they would qualify for. Because the percentages I was addressing earlier, that 27 to 29 percent, that's the highest percentage that would qualify. And then it drops down from that. So the, um, uh, the stream two, the equal or minority Alberta ownership, uh, which is that hybrid one, is 25 to 27 percent. But by the time you get to stream three, all other eligible productions, you're into the 20 percent range. Um, and if they uh, do the enhanced eligibility, they could get up to 22 percent. And we're just not competitive. Um, in BC, they recently raised their uh, film tax credit from 25 uh, to 33 percent. And I am, I've heard from a lot of people involved in the film sector in the last couple of weeks and I am shocked at how few of them have had work in Alberta over the last year and almost none of them have work lined up for the next year. 
So that competitive edge that we had at one point, we were just below BC in uh, a point uh, in attracting outside production here into Alberta. And remember that for a small investment on our part, we're getting a return somewhere between six dollars back per dollar invested and ten dollars back per dollar invested, depending on which formula you want to use. Um, so it's it's great return on investment, but it also employs Albertans. And I just had an email from a, a friend um, whose wife is a producer. Now, and this is not small stuff. She was assistant director uh, to Ang Lee on Brokeback Mountain. This is not small potatoes. This is big Hollywood stuff. She was assistant director on that, and she's now gone to BC to look for work. So there's a highly qualified director, producer, organizer, film worker who has not worked in Alberta and is now going to BC to look for work and is leaving her family here to go and do it. Um,